In today's video, I'm going to give you my top five ways that you can improve your offense overnight in Madden NFL 20. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel focuses on helping you improve in Madden. We do that through tips, through gameplay breakdowns, through schemes, through ebooks, and all kinds of cool stuff for you guys. So do me a favor, and if this video helps you, go ahead and join the Discord server. The link will be in the description. That is the way that you can kind of get access to some exclusive stuff, and also the way that you can really just get stay up to date with the latest and greatest stuff that I'm doing in Madden. So again, free to join it. And again, if we get a hundred people in that Discord server, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to release a free offensive and defensive ebook to my Discord member members only. So uh, be sure to join that. All right, so offensive this year, what do you do? Well, the first thing that I want to recommend, the top, top, top five tips for offense. The first tip that I want to recommend is run HB stretch in combination with HB dive. So I have the Oakland Raiders playbook up right here, and you guys have probably all seen this at some point this year, but this year more than any other year, better than it's ever been. The run game is better than it's ever, ever, ever been. The HB stretch in combination with the ISO from iForm tight is absolutely deadly. Again, you don't have to be in Oakland, but again, just any, any stretch in combination with any ISO will work. But one of the things you want to do is you always want to run your dives to the hand of your quarterback. So Jim, if your quarterback is left hand, you want to run the dive to the left. If your quarterback's right handed, you want to run your dive to the right. But as you can see here, HB ISO. And on that, what I want to tell you is when you run the when you run the ball in Madden NFL 20, make sure that you don't hold turbo until you've decided where you're going to run to. There you see I get kind of boxed, but you don't want to hold turbo until you've decided where you're going to run to. So, for example, if I'm running the ISO, I'm not holding tur her turbo until I get through the line of scrimmage, and then I'll hold turbo, and then I'll go. The second tip for success that I want to recommend is if you plan to run a lot with your quarterback or if you plan to maybe not run the ball a lot is I would recommend going to your coaching adjustments and play on conservative. The third thing that I want to recommend to you this year in Madden NFL 20 is when you are running, the, there's specific types of routes that work every single year. And I want to break down one one specific route that I really like. And you can do this out of any, any, any um, play, but this is just a basic play, this double seams play out of the Oakland playbook. But here's all I want to recommend. When you go into practice mode, try smart routing routes. As you see here, Samuel, I can smart route his route, and now he's going to go 10 yards, which is a deeper in route, and he's going to get in behind the yellow zones. So this is just a quick little tip for labbing. But also, one of the things I want to recommend to you is when you're passing the ball, you want to basically think through everything that you do, and you want to have routes that work together. You don't want to have routes that run into each other. That's the that's kind of the big thing that I want to press, press home here. When you're passing the ball in Madden NFL 20, and really in any year's game, it's really, really tempting to basically go ahead and what you'll do is you will you will literally run players into each other. Now, there's a time and place for that, which is the mesh concept, but what you don't want to do right here is you don't want to run like Sanders and Kittle. If you run both of them on slant routes, as you can see here, they're going to kind of mess up and it does work sometimes, but it's going to be very, very difficult because when they're you, when your opponent is using the middle linebacker on defense, he's going to be able to really do a lot of damage to you uh, in that scenario. All right, so the uh, I got two more tips for you on offense. The second tip on offense is to if you're going to pass the ball in this year's game, make sure that you throw corner routes, and that's actually why the Niners are one of the better teams in the game. Because if you go to the play, you just go to something like this, right? Gun bunch tight end. It doesn't matter the play. They have a specific ability on their guy, George Kittle here. And I can, if you go to hot route George Kittle, I can hot route him to a corner route every single time. It doesn't matter where he's at. So I could put him on a corner. I could put him on a cross route. I could put him on anything. So when he's at the tight end position, I can put him in all sorts of different corner routes. As you see here, this is a nice sharp corner route. And what's going to happen is it's going to roast man-to-man -man coverage. So run if you, if you have some kind of corner route, the sharp corner routes this year, in my opinion, are best. But again, corner routes in Madden 20, especially when you combine them with a good escape artist quarterback, are really effective. So my last two tips are if you're going to pass the ball, be sure to run corner routes. 
And then if you're in playing Madden Ultimate Team and you really want to get better on offense, what I'm going to recommend you do is use an escape artist quarterback. All right, let me review the top five tips to improve your offense overnight in Madden NFL 20. The first tip that I have for you is to run halfback stretch in combination with halfback dive from the Oakland Raiders playbook. Okay, you you can do it from the Oakland playbook, but you don't have to. But again, I think I form tight is the best way to do it. So again, halfback stretch in combination with halfback back dive or you could do that from several 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 different playbooks the carolina panthers have a really really good um really really good i single back ace double wing where you can run stretch so half back sting and half back dive all from the same set again i just really like the i form because you get that full back in there and he kind of helps clean things up for you but run the ball run the ball in man 20 that's what i want to kind of hammer home it doesn't have to be out of oakland doesn't have to be whatever it's probably the tip that i neglect the most and it's actually the tip that could help me the most if i would just run the ball more i would get more um it forces the defense to have to play a certain way that's why you want to run the ball okay the next tip for success is when you're passing when you when you're passing what you want to do is you want to number one you want to master your pass protection in my opinion that's one of the most important things you can do and the way you do that is through id id so you do that by hitting l1 and then x id the person you think is going to come in free So if you think the pressure is going to come from this guy, ID him. If you think the pressure is going to come from this guy, ID him. That's kind of my basic tip for how to pick up pressure. Block the running back and ID the guy that you think is going to come in. As you can see here, the running back stays in the block and he's going to help me. The next thing that I want to remind you is when you're passing, when you're developing your passing plays, use your hot routes. Try every hot route in the game. It's absolutely critical to your success. But even more than that, make sure that your plays don't run into each other. As you can see here, these vertical routes are spread in a specific way. They're not going to run into each other. Now I got a deep dig and I got a deep out route, but they're not running into each other. Now I have the space to be able to to, um, easily throw it and make a play. And then the, the second tip that I have for you, the, the number two way to improve your offense overnight is to go to any set that's like a tight, whether it's bunch, whatever it is, and run a corner route. OK, it doesn't really have to. It, honestly, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. But as you can see here with this specific lineup, I have George Kittle and he gets this really, really nice corner route. And as you can see, it's going to beat man. I like personally the sharper corner routes like that. But there's also some co- really good corner strike corner routes that do a really, really good job against zone coverage as well. But again, I just personally want to say, if you're in Madden 20, run corner routes. And then the number one tip that I have for you in Madden NFL 20 um, is to use an escape artist quarterback if you're going to pass the ball. And if you're not going to pass the ball, to use make everything look identical. Try to make your offense look identical. Now, again, you can't make every play look identical, but what will happen a lot of times, and I'm guilty of this and we're all guilty of this, we try to run a very, I try to run a very simple offense. So, for example, if I'm running Y option in combination with the play uh, double seams from spread Y option what I want to do is this is a completely different version so right here I'm attacking the seams with the slots so what I might do is I might go to Y option and then what I'll do is I'll hot route George Kittle to a corner route right and so I have that read on the right side of the field and then might take Sanders and put him on a on a hitch and then Samuel was on an in route so maybe this time I'll put him on an out route that's what I mean by make everything, make it look the same. You're going to look the same, but they're going to go in different directions. So what's going to happen is the defense can't just sit on one route. You want to have two different plays that look identical, but go in completely different directions. And that's going to help you get really, really effective at Madden 20. Don't just call random plays. Go into practice mode, practice every play before you run it in a game. And last but not least, with a little bonus tip for you here, you want to have a finite few number of plays that work the same. I think, again, corner routes in combination with escape artists is really effective. So something like this right here would be a very effective setup for this because George Kittle can always get those corner routes. So... Those are just some top five ways that you can improve your offense overnight. The biggest thing that you can do is practice your routes against cover four, cover two, cover three, cover two man. If you're going to be a passer, if you're going to be a runner, practice your runs against three, four odd, three, four bear, 
and nickel 335 wide nine okay that's how you're going to get better go into practice mode practice mode helps you get better and i just want to encourage you as we're loading up here getting ready for even madden 21 these are the things that are going to help you get much much more effective and much much more better and also are going to help you win more games if you do these things and Last thing, guys, if this video was helpful to you, I really hope that you appreciate the time that I go through to make these videos. And do me a favor and just join the Discord server. I Trust me, you won't regret it. We're going to have some exclusive stuff on there for you as we're ranking up for Madden 21. We may even have some giveaways.